Tonight, it doesn't matter which part of India you're living in. It doesn't matter if you're going to school or college. It doesn't matter what you do for a living or what your economic background is. It doesn't matter what you wear or how you wear it, whether you like going out with your friends in the evenings or stay at home. The only thing that matters is whether you're a man or a woman is that you're concerned about the safety of women in this country and where we are headed as a society. This after so much outrage on the streets of India, in Parliament and really everywhere you look after a 23-year-old girl was gang raped and beaten with an iron rod for 90 minutes. Today we are told that the attackers were really upset that she put up a fight and that angered them more enough to beat her brutally like that. Men or beasts, well that of course is one question that perhaps doesn't need any answers. India is outraged, but what is this outrage going to achieve? All that and lots more is what we're looking at on the program this evening. Uh, a special panel and now joining us along with an audience, Anna Wettigad, author and journalist, also Anant Insorum, two of our most well-known radio jockeys here in Delhi. But first I'd like to start with Shija. Shija, this morning you said you were just so angry, you were seething. You, know, you said, I cannot believe, as a mother of two girls, I cannot believe this is happening in the city that I live, in what I consider a safe part of town. It can happen anywhere. What about this case makes it stand out for you? Why are you so angry? Uh, because the way, I mean, first and foremost, let me tell you one thing. When I read the newspaper, the, the people, what they did to this girl, I actually had tears. And that was enough for me. For, I think for the, even for our society, we all should stand together. Look at her, what they did to her. It's inhuman. That's all I can say. It's inhuman. The parliament is on. I feel they should have a law. Okay, if, this is, if such horrible things like this done, it's just hang till death. Nothing else. Do you believe that the death penalty is, is the only way? We've heard some people say I that, mean, but do you really believe that that's an answer? Is that the kind of society do you think that we, well, we I need to do to put an end to this? Yes, we should. Right. How many girls do we want to sacrifice? I think the government should wake up, or every society should wake up. How many other girls are going to go through this, and why? Right, that's of course debate, but there's someone here, Chita, you don't agree. You organized a protest today. You sort of were out there with people, mobilizing people, mobilizing voices. Yet at the end of the day, you tell me that death is not the answer. Well, yes, what I wanted to say about that is actually the conviction rate. When you have, uh, you know, I mean, the conviction rate of rape, rate of rape accused is so low, it's 25%. I mean, you can see the posters here, that's from our protest. And you can see that that was what was Pe what people were most angry about that was our demand that but even, even when even when sort of this goes into trial this is what happens like there's hardly any conviction there's hardly any punishment no question of there being a deterrent so many voices there we're just going to come across to our panel in just a bit but let's not go across to Tanima Biswas with a whole host of protesters th this evening who want to have their say who want to share their outrage Natasha, we are here with some people who have gathered at India Gate in Delhi to try and voice their disgust and complete anger about this incident which has shocked the country. Please tell us, sir, that all of you have gathered here today. What is the message that you're trying to send out or what questions are you trying to raise? The message you want to communicate is the women are not safe, not in Delhi. It's a rape capital of India, across India, because there is no fear among the people, right? They do this activity and they come up free. So the, the loss needs to be very strict, the society needs to be very proactive, and there should be awareness drive, there should be a def uh, self-defense and there's a lot of uh, uh, belongingness, right? So we have seen in Delhi something happens and people sit at home, just they watched and they left. Rather than they should come on the street like us and they should uh, participate in this, uh, this, uh, this uh, program to bring a lot of awareness among the society, among the people, right? This is the message we want to communicate. Right. Yeah. You're, as your uh, friend was just saying, there's a lot of detachment in the city. Yeah. Uh, as far as, you know, protecting women is concerned or helping out each other is concerned. See, what people think is something, what is happening to others. They don't see th see that this is happening to society as a whole. That's what's happening with someone else. They think that it's going to happen or not, they think that it's going to happen. पर अगर हम ऐसे ही डीले ऐसे ही सोचते रहेंगे तो जिस दिन हमारे साथ कुछ होगा कोई साथ नहीं आने वाला है सो so, अगर अगर आज आज नहीं जागेंगे तो बुरा हाल होने वाला है सोसाइटी का 
As a girl, how safe do you feel in the city? What do you think needs to change? See, uh, I love Delhi and I feel proud to be an Indian. But the situation as it is getting worse and worse day by day, I just feel that it is actually getting unsafe. And my parents, why they are con conservative, now I can feel why they are conservative. This is what I need to change. Right. So a lot of voices here in the capital, they're basically not just blaming the authorities, they're also saying that people in general in the city need to help each other out, need to protect its women so that it becomes a safer city to live in. Natasha? Right, sir. We're of course hoping that that happens sooner rather than later. But Anant and Sora, we're talking about Delhi. You know, we're, we're talking about this city. We've, talking, maybe this is, we've sort of spoken about the aggressiveness that comes with this city, about the apathy, the large-heartedness. But at the end of the day, when I heard you guys this morning on, on radio, there was something... I wouldn't say defeatist, but there was like, it was like, what do we say? I, I think you guys said it in so many words that what more is there left to say? I, I, as people who perhaps know the, the pulse of this city better than most of us, where do you think is, is the failure? Though, of course, it's not just limited to the city, but if we talk only about Delhi tonight. You know, the failure starts uh, from way back. It just, the rapist just doesn't think one day, okay, today I'm going to rape and he goes out and rapes somebody. Hmm. It is the social structure he's living in, hmm. but all that is right now maybe that's not it's not the right time to discuss it hmm. right now we need to discuss deterrence and probably get some deterrence into place hmm. usually what happens a rape is committed hmm. then the police swings into action and we sort of react to an incident yes. after it happens yes. instead of You've preventing it in the first instead place instead of reactive right now this guy the driver had been arrested three times earlier hmm. so it was not that he was an unknown hmm. uh, bad hmm. character hmm. and uh, what, another part which I fail to understand that in Delhi, at any time of the day, whether it's 3 o'clock in the morning, you'll find the roads full of cars, you'll mm. find people driving from one place to the other. Mm. This happened in South Delhi at 9.30. That area is right. almost jam-packed at around 9.30. And nobody so saw people unnoticed. being flung out from a bus. It's... Is that also a sense of the kind of people that we become, that we, you know, like the gentleman there said, that it's, it's somebody else's problem. Exactly. You know, let's, you know, we, we, are, we are sitting on the postmortem. Every 15 days, we have been doing that. Mm. We have not been providing any solutions to it. Mm. Um, I remember the Aruna Shonbak case, mm. whereby mm. that lady was, you know, beautiful life was wasted. She was turned into vegetative state. The mm. guy, Valmiki, was put behind the bars for some seven years. Mm. And now he's roaming in this very society. So, after seven so years, he's living his life. Character back in mm. society, God mm. knows what else. He's what living his life. What portrayed? happened to that lady? Right. And the similar thing is being repeated. Mm. I mean, I was I was reading somewhere, 570 odd cases were reported last year. Mm. Those were the official cases that were reported. Mm. I don't know how many were unofficially exactly. that were not reported. 18 rapes 18, reported a day. Those are the ones that are reported. 18, uh, every 18 hours, there's one rape right. case. And right. this year, it has further increased to 650. And we are just talking about Delhi. We are not talking about NCR. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.